The family of a Midlands woman pleading for answers tonight after she went missing from her Aiken County home. Crystal Anderson, a Columbia native, disappeared two weeks ago on August 20th. As the investigation continues, they're hoping the public can help bring her home safely. In a small town in Wagoner, South Carolina, a community was rocked by a chilling and mysterious disappearance. A mother of four, a beloved sister, and a cherished friend to all had suddenly disappeared. This is the story of Crystal Anderson, a vibrant 30-year-old woman, whose absence raised the alarm when she failed to pick up her own child. Her family's concerns grew as they knew she would never miss such an important commitment. This journey takes us deep into a dark web of lies and unexpected twists, a story that continues to send shockwaves through a tight-knit community with sensational revelations. Welcome to Crime Corner. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes place in South Carolina, where Wagoner is a small town that oozes warmth and a close-knit community spirit. Wagoner offers a tranquil escape from the hustle and bustle of city life. The community here thrives on neighborly connections, where everyone knows your name and a friendly wave is never far away. Crystal Anderson, a beloved daughter, sister, mother, and friend, emerges as a resilient and nurturing presence within her family circle. Her sudden disappearance from Aiken County has left a void that resonates with worry and confusion. She is known as a caring mother of four, Crystal's familial bonds are at the heart of her identity. Known for her constant communication, her absence has ignited concern among her loved ones, who find it unbelievable that she would voluntarily leave her children behind. This strong connection to her family is stressed by her sister's account of Crystal's unwavering presence, even during difficult times. With a history of temporary absences, Crystal's commitment to her children remained reliable. Her absence has not only brought frustration but also a sense of abandonment, leaving her family dealing with the darkness of uncertainty. In the face of mounting frustration, her family's determination to find her speaks volumes about the love and unity that define Crystal's legacy. The mystery of Crystal Anderson's abrupt disappearance in August has taken over every mind of Aiken County. The depths of suspicion have converged on her boyfriend, Tony Berry, who now faces a murder charge. As details unfold, a disturbing narrative emerges. Witnesses recall a verbal clash between Tony and Crystal on that fateful August 20th, in the vicinity of 233, Severn Road in Wagoner. The puzzle deepens as accounts place Tony, in a shocking turn, seen forcing Crystal into the trunk of his 2007 Cadillac CTS. Although her body remains elusive, the newly released arrest warrant for Tony paints a grim picture, asserting that authorities believe Crystal's life was tragically extinguished sometime between 9.30 and 11.30 p.m. on that dreadful night. With each revelation, the suspicion tightens its grip, revealing an unsettling story of anger, desperation, and perhaps a horrifying truth that cannot be spoken. As the legal proceedings kick off, Crystal's family confronts Tony Berry, a man now held captive by the chilling shadows of suspicion, while the search for answers plunges deeper into the darkness, leaving a community haunted by the uncertainty of what lies beneath the surface. Tony Berry, the boyfriend of Crystal Anderson, is at the center of a perplexing and concerning case. His role has taken a dark turn as he faces charges in connection with Crystal's disappearance and murder. Described as a person of interest, Tony's actions have raised suspicion. Allegedly seen putting Crystal into the trunk of his car and later linked to the burned car found in Newberry County, Tony's involvement in this ongoing investigation is troubling. His connection to the purchased items meant for disposing of human remains adds to the complexity of the case. As law enforcement diligently seeks the truth, Tony Berry's role in Crystal's life takes on a shadowy and deeply concerning dimension. Crystal's boyfriend, Tony Berry, found himself at the center of all of the allegations. Charged with murder and arson, he was suspected of the unthinkable, snuffing out Crystal's life and attempting to erase the evidence. Witnesses recall the heated confrontation between Crystal and Tony on the fateful night of August 20th near her wagon or home. Disturbingly, accounts place Tony forcing Crystal into the trunk of his 2007 Cadillac CTS. 
As authorities dug deeper, unsettling revelations emerged. Tony Berry's alleged purchase of items meant for disposing of human remains painted a grim picture, while the burned-out shell of his vehicle in Newberry County seemed to be seen as an attempt to destroy crucial evidence. As the investigation boosted, Tony's son, Darius Berry, was also incriminated. Charged with accessory after the fact to a felony, Darius faced accusations of aiding in the destruction of evidence. The desperation of Crystal's family grew as they faced the painful reality that her remains had not been located, and the prospect of spending holidays without her became a haunting certainty. Crystal's sister, Shadira Smothers, encapsulated the anguish and frustration felt by her family, questioning how Tony Berry could audaciously ask for a bond while their own lives had been irrevocably shattered. The painful details painted a melancholic portrait of the crime that moved Wagoner, South Carolina. Crystal's story became a testament to the enduring search for truth and justice, as a community struggling with a mother's absence and the haunting shadows of a crime that had shattered the lives of those left behind. According to the arrest warrant provided by the Aiken County Sheriff's Office, investigators now believe that Tony Berry, Crystal's boyfriend, is responsible for taking her life. The vehicle was later found burned in Newberry County, South Carolina. Cell phone records further suggest that Barry was in the vicinity when the vehicle was torched. The revelation also states that Barry had researched methods to commit the crime while leaving no trace. The family of a missing Aiken County mom is speaking for the first time after a series of updates in the case over the last few days. Now this week, charges were upgraded against Crystal's boyfriend, Tony Berry. He was originally charged with kidnapping, but on Tuesday, a murder charge was added. Then yesterday, deputies arrested another suspect in connection to her murder. Darius Berry is charged with accessory after the fact to murder. Crystal Anderson's family confirms Darius is Tony's son. In the last hour, we've learned new information about what police believe is his connection to the case. Arrest warrants say Darius Berry helped his dad burn a car they believe is connected to Crystal's murder. The documents also say they think Tony and Darius worked together to conceal information about the case. Darius's bond is set at $20,000. His father is being held without bond. An arrest warrant for Tony shows what authorities believe what happened to Crystal Anderson in Augusta. First, authorities believe she was killed on August 20th off of Severn Road in Wagner. Witnesses say they saw Tony place her inside the trunk of a Cadillac after a verbal argument. The investigation found later he made a series of purchases that could be used to get rid of human remains, such as a shovel, plastic coveralls, and a box of trash bags. Authorities say additional evidence showed he researched how to carry out the crime. Anderson's sister says it's been a hard week. I just feel like the system failed me. I feel like I don't know if we would have been able to save Crystal's life because I don't know how soon everything happened. But I do believe that we would have gotten closure a lot sooner. Despite these revelations, Crystal's body remains unfound, leaving her family in anguished limbo. Currently held without bond, Barry's public defender is yet to provide a response to these disturbing developments. The heartrending incident surrounding Crystal Anderson's disappearance and alleged murder is an important reminder of the tragic possibilities that can happen within even the most serene communities. This unfortunate turn of events underscores the critical need for proactive measures to prevent such heartbreaking outcomes in the future. Crystal's story emphasizes the significance of early intervention and fostering strong support networks. In our interconnected world, it is essential to recognize the signs of distress or potential danger, especially within personal relationships. Encouraging open dialogue about personal safety, mental health, and relationship dynamics can empower individuals to seek help when needed. Community members should be vigilant, ready to offer a helping hand, and lend an empathetic ear to those who might be struggling. By creating an environment where individuals feel comfortable sharing their concerns, we can potentially avert crises before they escalate. To prevent such tragic instances, a comprehensive approach is essential. This includes enhancing the efficiency of law enforcement's response to missing person cases, 
ensuring that resources are readily available for individuals seeking refuge from dangerous situations, and raising public awareness about the signs of relationship violence. Educational initiatives that promote healthy relationship behaviors and emphasize consent and communication can contribute to preventing abusive scenarios. Additionally, facilitating access to counseling, shelters, and support groups can provide crucial lifelines to those in vulnerable situations. The hope lies in transforming Crystal's devastating story into a catalyst for positive change. By fostering a culture of empathy, education, and action, we can collectively work towards preventing similar tragedies from shattering lives. Every effort to create safe spaces, encourage communication, and empower individuals can potentially save lives and ensure that no one else falls victim to the shadows that engulfed Crystal Anderson. Crystal's story serves as a reminder that the bonds of family and community are pivotal in times of crisis. The impact of her absence resonates not only within her immediate circle but throughout the wider community that has now rallied to aid in her search. As the investigation continues, the hope to uncover the truth and bring her home remains steadfast. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.